I always wanted to become a product manager and I felt very scary to give up on my engineering career and transition into product management. But I overcome all my fears and I gave it a try and I aced my transition. If I could do it, all the women could do it. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy, the founder product manager accelerator from drnancy.com. I help people transition from worker bee to product manager and business leader. If you want to learn the most effective way to become product manager, you should subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell button so be notified every time you post a new video every Wednesday. Today we have a special topic about how to become product manager as a new mom and invite our special guest speaker, Priyanka. And she's going to share with you guys how she broke into product management with like about 10 years, 12 years uh, engineering background. And also as she became a product manager, how did she solve the challenges in terms of having her second baby? Uh, she also addressed the H1B issue at the beginning of the pandemic. So there's lots of overload advice in today's talk. So thank you so much. Let's welcome Priyanka. All right. So Priyanka, can you quickly introduce yourself? Sure, Nancy. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for having me here. Hi, everyone. I currently work as a product manager in a public traded cloud company and that builds cloud software for the life sciences industry. And it supports different pharma companies like Pfizer, Genentech, etc. So I'm currently working in this role from the past one year. And prior to that, I worked as a software developer and I had 10 years of experience in different industries like e-commerce, travel, mobile application development, and uh, also building enterprise software. So let's talk about your number one challenge. And let's start from the top. How do you conquer those challenges, Priyanka? Yeah, so coming to my first challenge where I didn't have a direction or guidance on what to look for and where to go, uh, I, I went through a lot of online uh, self-reading and I looked at a lot of uh, content online in YouTube and different websites and different uh, forums. Uh, and that's where I came across your program. Uh, and I approached you and I joined you and that helped me immensely in understanding different frameworks and also how to answer these different product questions uh, and the different uh, uh, like categories in these product manager interviews, like product design, product estimation, product strategy, and all that. Uh, so I was able to uh, also brush up on my behavioral questions using the great framework you taught us. Uh, thank you for putting all that amazing sessions. And you would always be there to answer my questions. And you always boost the confidence in me. So that helped a lot for me to make this transition. Thank you. Thank you for telling me this. Um, it's always uh -huh. my pleasure to see all of you guys succeed mm -hmm. um, and also see you a big contributor to the communities and by speaking in alumni panel and also helping other students to achieve the same outcome as well. Thank you so much for helping us out. Mm -hmm. So before we get into the, the details, let's also talk about your second biggest challenge. Yeah. Uh, so my second biggest challenge is managing my time wisely. Initially, I was struggling a lot and I still do, to be frank. But uh, I realized that I needed to do a lot of planning and preparation ahead of time. Like, for example, for the week, I'm a person who doesn't eat outside. So I plan my breakfast and meals ahead on the weekend. Uh, and the same with my work. Uh, if I have to start my day, I try to see what meetings I have. I try to prepare for them ahead of the day or mm -hmm. at the end of the day for the next day. I prepare everything. And being a product manager, joining a company that's already uh, have a vast product, I need to understand a lot of uh, details. So I have to do a lot of homework. I have to spend my weekends on it and after hours on it. So I would say it needs a lot of planning and preparation. I usually uh, spend nine to five uh, for my work. And uh, most of the time is spent in, in meetings, like uh, sprint meetings or anything, anything like that. So after five, I, I try to go for a walk, relax, uh, mm -hmm. or take care of my kids. And then I again resume back at 9.30 uh, and I start planning. Like if I have to do any feature design work or if I have to uh, learn about any feature, I try to spend that 9 to 12 uh, because I'm a late sleeper. So I spend 9 to 12 to learn something or, uh, or uh, work on my uh, feature design work and all that. Um, wow. Yeah. So That's, And I also totally on weekends. Including weekends as well. <laughs> Including weekends. Uh, but e weekends, I don't get much time. So whenever I get uh, one hour here and there, I try to open my laptop and try to find out, do small tasks. Like if there are very small tasks that doesn't uh, need a lot of usage of brain, I try to do them on the weekends uh, in between uh, whenever I find time. Got you. Wow. Clearly, <laughs> you're very devoted into your work. Not only you 
work normal hours. You also spend more time learning new features, thinking about it, and learning any new knowledge as well. No wonder you're you're doing a very good job uh, mm -hmm. after you become a PM. Thank you for sharing with us. So Priyanka, so tell us more regarding how you conquer your third challenge in terms of your H1B challenges and getting transitioned into product management. Yeah, definitely, Nancy. So uh, the third challenge I had was I wasn't sure whether my H1B would be approved or not since I'm transitioning from engineering to product. So what I have done is I initially I communicated with my manager that I need H1B sponsorship. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I worked with my lawyer closely uh, to prepare my case. Uh, and I, I pr gave them all the documentation needed to support my case. And I went through different forums uh, to understand what needs to be supported. Of in my case, and I also have a very supporting manager uh, who who tried to follow up with me uh, and also gathered as much information as possible from me to support the lawyers to prepare the case. So all this process was amazing, and uh, it was a, a nice experience for me. <laughs> awesome! So eventually, you basically successfully land your HME sponsorship as a yes. product manager, even if your originally like profession was more engineer. Exactly. Yeah, I awesome. was my H1B was approved, uh, even though I had an engineering background. And even though I didn't had an MBA, uh, I'm still able to transition from engineering to product. I love this. I love this. I also love that you mentioned that your company was also uh, very supportive throughout the process. I personally believe that lots of things can be done um, because I was I was director. And so I knew internally in if your manager was very supportive, he is able to align all the resources uh, yes. to make it happen for you. I'm so glad he's so, so impressive and supportive throughout the entire career growth. Yeah, that's definitely true. <laughs> awesome. So Priyanka, so as a mom with two kids and one newborn baby, and I do have a personal question for you, which is how do you manage work-life balance? You kind of, I alluded a little bit earlier and so do you think work life balance actually exists? Uh, any advice you could give to new moms? How would you manage work life balance as a product manager? Yeah, that's a great question, Nancy. And uh, yeah, it's hard for me to answer that, but I'll try my best. Uh, so managing work and personal life with kids is definitely challenging. I know that you must be knowing this better. Uh, as I mentioned, it needs a lot of planning and preparation. And what I would say is for a working mother, your partner should be of great support. Luckily, I have an amazing husband who helps me, shares each and every responsibility. So that way I, I will, I'm still able to stand up, get to work uh, and do everything. So I think that's a huge help you can ask for. And um, fantastic. I, as I mentioned, planning and preparation. Uh, you cannot start your week without planning. Uh, because uh, I manage two kids, work, and then I cook. I, I We don't eat outside. I have to cook everything. Mm -hmm. So uh, I I go for groceries, uh, planning what I need to cook for the week. And I, I make a plan on what I cook for that week, as well as, as I mentioned, meetings. Uh, I, I have to prepare each and everything since it's a new role for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't go to meetings blank. I have to know at least uh, what the feature they're going to discuss about, uh, what kind of questions I have. Uh, I should not sound dumb in the meetings. I, I should know the feature at least 50%. Uh, so the other 50% I can fill in du during that meeting or after the meeting uh, by talking to the engineer or someone. So all that needs planning. Um, mm -hmm. For me, for now, work-life balance doesn't exist because I work after hours, weekends. Uh, but I think going forward, maybe three or four years in this role, I might be able to balance it much better uh, since I I'll know most of the feature uh, better and uh, I I'll be in that role for a little longer, right? So it'll be, uh, I'll be in, in a little comfort zone for sure. That's awesome. And I do love the tip regarding planning and just like mm -hmm. people saying, Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. Cool, Priyanka. Thank you for sharing the personal side of mm -hmm. the story of yourself. I also love to hear the professional side. Let's say after you become product manager, which you have been a product manager for over a year. So what does a day-to-day -day look like as a product manager? And I believe lots of our audience want to hear different types of product managers. Yeah, so that's a great question because uh, many people ask me what exactly a product manager do. Yeah. So I would say uh, my uh, my day goes in different phases. Like 30% of my day, I would be spending in talking to customers, understanding their pain points, and coming up with business requirements to either um, 
enhance the existing feature or either build new features to solve their pain points. Uh, and I also make sure that it aligns with the business goals. Mm -hmm. And the another 30% of my day would go in dealing with sprint work, uh, which would include uh, stand up meetings, retrospective meetings, uh, and also collaborating with engineers, different teams, unblocking the team from any any blockers they have and also a lot of work coming a lot of requests coming so i have to prioritize all that sprint work mm -hmm. uh, and the other 30 percent of my day i'll be spending in feature designs yeah. and uh, we have a lot of customer data so i have to analyze all that data and we are we have a customer feedback forum so i have to go through all that customer feedback for, forum um and uh, managing the backlog and uh, prepping for a short term or a long term roadmap that we have to uh, keep evaluating on it uh, based on the requirements uh, and the rest of the 10 percent of my day i would be spending in business processes like uh, mm -hmm. preparing brds which is a business re requirement document mm -hmm. or writing release notes uh, for any features that are going out um, yeah. and sometimes i do not find time to work on feature work during the day so i end up working after hours or weekends to make sure i'm on track mm -hmm. so yeah sounds like a full day very full day. very busy totally yeah. <laughs> so, so tell me more regarding when you design the product feature, different things, um, what kind of tools do you use? What kind of like um, methodology do you use to mm -hmm. be a better PM and also designing those features? And I believe lots of people would love to hear as well. Yeah, so uh, I mainly work on a lot of technical features. Uh, so I work on APIs as well as UI features. Mm -hmm. So so what I try to, uh, how I design them is I try to first come up with their pain point. Uh, and uh, I also see what customers are requesting for that feature and how many of them are requesting and uh, what, how exactly are they facing that issue. So I try to analyze all that and come up with a very generic uh, solution that would serve most of the customers. Uh, and I also try to see if it aligns with the business goals. Uh, mm -hmm. And also uh, while making, while de delivering, like while developing this feature, uh, I sync up with engineers uh, to come up with a feasible solution. Uh, that would require less time, uh, whether it be an MVP, that's fine, mm -hmm. uh, because we have very limited engineering resources, uh, and also try to add some analytics on it, so that way I can enhance it in the future. Um, awesome. Yeah, so fantastic. So this is how I designed my feature. And uh, definitely I learned all this as part of the PM accelerator program, uh, and that I joined and uh, and the sessions we did uh, together that helped me a lot to uh, uh, build this framework and uh, uh, design features this way. Fantastic. Yes, exactly. And usually the way we believe that the best way to create outstanding product manager after they land a job is actually learning how to be a better PM before they land a job. So that's yeah. why when we uh, coach you guys, we want to make sure you do lots of live cases and build your product portfolio, really gain hands-on experience. I believe at the time you had so much fun building your product portfolio, right? You have like a feature design with us together. Yes, yes. I had an interesting problem that I tried to uh, solve. I did a lot of customer interviews as well, and that helped a lot. <laughs> yeah, I love this. Awesome. So now Priyanka, do you have any advice you want to give to anybody who want to break into product management or want to become a better product manager after they land a job? Mm -hmm. um, sure. Um, so as per my experience, what I've noticed is uh, becoming a successful product manager, mm -hmm. uh, for becoming a better, like a successful product manager, you need to love your product and you should always crave to enhance it and improve it for your customers. If you don't love your product, it will not, uh, it will not drive you. Uh, you will not be motivated for sure. So you should love what you do. And uh, product managers management is not about delivering features uh, in every release. It is about finding the right problem to solve. So uh, that's that's what it means to me. Uh, Fantastic. Well said. I love when you start to say product manager is about solving pain point for customer. You gotta love what you do. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, totally. Ex I believe. I personally also believe that. The purpose of like being a PM is not about, hey, I design features. It's more about, I love the customers. Exactly. I really have customer empathy. There is a big pain point that waiting for me to address. So mm -hmm. let's figure out what kind of new features or new solutions we can create together to solve the customer pain point. And you're going to feel in love True. with your customers. True. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I, I have realized being a 
PM for this period. <laughs> awesome, awesome. I love this. I think that's the, the true definition of outstanding, amazing PM. And I covered this in one of the live training regarding how to be a better product manager. You guys can check out right here, which is number one thing I talk about. Okay? You need to have a strong customer empathy and love feeling in love with your customers. This True. is fantastic. I love this. Awesome. Okay. So Priyanka, thank you so much for sharing with us. Um, I hope lots of audience also learned a lot from today's lesson from you and hope all of you guys can start applying the same methodology to break into product management and also become an outstanding product manager. Thank you for sharing all the advice with all of you guys. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you for doing all this amazing work and putting all this amazing content together. Uh, I hope this helps someone out there and I wish uh, very good luck to everyone. Thank you for sure. I, yeah, anybody who learned something from this video, please make sure you uh, comment in the description and any more questions you have for Priyanka, especially uh, as mom with two kids. Uh, we're very looking forward to hearing from all of you guys. Thank you so much. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe and comment to this video. Thank you very much for having uh, you, uh, Priyanka, and good to see all of you guys. And next time, we'll be teach you how to be a better product manager. Thank you. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. Bye.